Hey YouTube, it is Ryan here. I'm on freecodecamp.com and I'm going to solve a problem that uh, has been happening to some of us uh, while we're running through these exercises. The problem being that the code you write freezes the challenge that you're on. I think I wrote an infinite loop or something and it crashed uh, the exercise and my browser froze and I couldn't, I couldn't get to the point where um, I could hit this reset button to clear the code and try again because the page would freeze before I could get to reset. So with that being said, this is how you would fix it. So this page isn't frozen, um, but I can show you how to unfreeze a page that is. And the way you do it is you go to your map and you just choose a challenge ahead of the one that's frozen. So let's pretend that drop it is frozen. I would skip drop it and I'd go to steamroller and I'm on Steamroller, and then I'm going to hit Reset. And if you pay attention to the URL up at the top, it, it just says freecodecamp.com slash challenges slash Steamroller. But if I hit Reset, it will append a little bit of a uh, query string to the uh, end of that URL. So I just the only part I'm interested in is percent solution, or rather, sorry, number sign, question mark, solution equals percent and then it just starts to write out uh, function uh, percent 20 steamroller which is this uh, right here right so that's the same stuff if I was to take percent solution equals uh, per percent zero a function and change that to uh, let's just copy the whole front of this copy I deleted the whole thing. I've pasted in just the first part, and I, I can change the word function to fixed, and then I hit enter. It's going to refresh the page. And now it's plugged in fixed, which is what I wrote up here, right? So you can you can use the URL to overwrite whatever code was in your frozen uh, challenge. So you would go to your challenge say it was finders keepers is or rather sorry drop it was frozen so i would say okay i'm going to switch it to drop it instead of whatever i was on steamroller i've changed steamroller to drop it i don't know if they use oh that's a good question do they use dashes so let's check with i'm just going to copy this whole line and make sure that i'm giving you the right advice Binary agents, do they have a, yeah, so they've got a dash between it. So drop it, I would need a dash. So I'm going to write the whole thing. Let's paste it in there. Drop it needs a dash for the space. And now when I hit return, it's going to run to that URL. It's going to load drop it with fixed as the code. And then you can just go back to your reset button, which is now available. And I'm going to clear my code. Now I've started a fresh start that's not frozen. So this was how I got out of an infinite uh, loop that had frozen, I forget what one it was, but it was like, it was some all primes that I froze. And this is how I got, that's how I was able to get myself back on track with some, uh, with a fresh drawing board here. So again, you just use the URL with the challenge name, all the way up to the challenge name. And then the important part for you to paste after the challenge name, which is frozen is uh, number sign, question mark, solution, equals, and then I don't know what this first thing, the percent zero is, I think that might just be like a carriage return, and then you can just write a function, What you, you can write whatever you want after that, I think. I think as soon as you're done with the number, question mark, solution, equals, I think anything past the equals, you're probably going to get a fresh line. Let's just check on that. Uh, copy this, delete, paste. Let's just see if I just do with solution equals, see what it does. Yeah, so then it's just blank. So you don't have to write anything past solution equals. If you want to be fancy, you can write something fancy in there just for fun, and it'll write fancy. So yeah, that's how I unfroze the challenge and was able to continue working. Hopefully this worked for you. If it did, please hit the thumbs up. Thanks.